Welcome to A Bill a Minute from GovTrack, your 60-second breakdown of interesting bills in Congress. I'm Jesse Rifkin. When a foreign-born person becomes an American citizen, they are called a naturalized citizen. From 2009 to 2019, more than 7.2 million people did so, and naturalized citizens are projected to make up a record 9.8% of eligible voters in the 2020 elections. The Justice Department is able to denaturalize any of these citizens if they choose. The practice is extremely rare, only being used 228 times since 2008, and ostensibly to be used only for the most serious crimes, such as treason. The frequency of denaturalizations has increased during the Trump administration, almost doubling the per year average relative to the Obama administration. In February 2020, the Trump administration created a new Justice Department section devoted entirely to denaturalization cases. The Defend New Americans Act would prevent federal funding for that new Justice Department denaturalization section. It was introduced in the House on July 20th by California Democratic Representative Salud Carbajal, who is himself a naturalized citizen originally born in Mexico. Now, supporters argue that the new Justice Department section is merely a fear tactic for the immigrant community, a solution in search of a problem, given the extremely low levels of actual denaturalization. But opponents counter that the new section is necessary to bolster the denaturalizations which have occurred and made the country safer as a result. Uh, they note that previous denaturalizations have been applied to people such as al-Qaeda recruiters, war criminals, and child abusers. Well, look, as long as nobody denaturalizes the Canadian-born Alex Trebek, I'm good.